Now that the attack action is much more powerful, we're going to need a better defense. The third button triggers a protective shield that absorbs a part of the next attack. So what values do we need to code this action? We need the number of defense points the player currently has and the number of defense points the shield action would give to the player. Note that just like hit points, the defense points also has a limit of 100. Let's jump into the code editor. First, create a variable named player shield. Assign it the value returned by get player shield. Then, create a second variable named shield amount and assign it the value returned by get shield amount. This second variable will hold the number of defense points the player will gain. Now that we have the two values we require, assign the result of player shield plus shield amount to player shield. Finally, replace the question mark in update player shield with the variable player shield. This instruction will update the interface of the game to output the final value of the defense points to the player. That's it. If you run the game, you'll notice that the shield doesn't block any damage yet. We'll fix that in the next exercise. For now, we just need the shield to appear properly.